from years i have been editing my videos on the vinci resolve on my pc but recently the vinci got released on ipad 4k editing in device this thin my name is basam and we are going to talk about pros and cons of the vinci resolve on ipad by the way i'm using the cheapest ipad that can run the vinci resolve it's ipad air 5 with m1 chip inside it Number one pro of the Vinci Resolve on iPad is form factor. This iPad has the same editing potential as my PC, which has a 8-core Ryzen 5800X and a RTX 3070. But this iPad is fraction the size of my PC and can edit without even being plugged into charging. Whereas these two things combined consume 600 watts of power. editing just from my bed well that's a dream come true and another dream is getting my channel monetized 97% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel so please hit that subscribe button your single subscription matters a lot for me and number 2 pro is better overall package i mean this ipad cost only $400 and it offer you a m1 chip and a beautiful 2k 60 hertz display which is great for color intensive work and i mean that's what davinci resolve is famous for but if you are buying a pc for 4k editing then first you would need to spend 1500 dollars on a pc build and then separately you would need to buy a monitor which has great color reproduction and that separately that monitor would cost you around 200 to 300 dollars so This iPad is better package for beginner editors and beginner color graders. Number 3 pro of the Vinci Resolve on iPad is editing on the go. Well, most of the gaming laptops can edit 4K footage on the go, but their battery drains way faster than this iPad. I mean, every iPad pro, if you count even iPad Pros. Well, note that most of the cars have a USB port. which can charge this ipad but it cannot charge your laptop and there are no ports for your laptop charger in your car not everyone owns a tesla sorry elon musk data transfer i record my videos on my iphone and transferring my videos to my ipad was quick because of airdrop so data transfer is a pro for me but wait wait what about android users I tried to transfer videos from my OnePlus 60 to my iPad using a Type C to Type C cable, but I couldn't transfer any files, so I had to use a USB Type C OTG and a pen drive to transfer my files from Android to my iPad. So, data transfer is a con for Android users. Another con of the Vinci Resolve on iPad is dependability on Apple Pencil. While I was editing a video for my college on my iPad, I found that using my fingers to scroll through timeline and make cuts is a very difficult task. So, I had to use a Apple Pencil. So, we can conclude that the Vinci Resolve forces you to use a Apple Pencil at some point. And it is a con for me because 100 bucks for this pencil just for making cuts and scrolling through timeline that really hurts me because it increases the overall value of our iPad. When you upload a 1080p video on YouTube then you get a AVC codec but when you upload a 4K video on YouTube then you get a VP9 codec and VP9 codec uploaded video would be way sharper than a AVC uploaded video. So even if your viewers are watching your videos at 720p the VP9 codec uploaded video would look way sharper and way better but you might be thinking why i'm telling you this it's because earlier people upscaled their video from 1080p to 4k in export section of davinci resolve but that section is not available on ipad so it might be a con for some people who shoot their videos at 1080p and want to upscale them at 4k for getting that vp9 codec file management on the vinci resolve in my ipad was not a very good experience first of all the file explorer on ipad os is very cluttery and second when i was editing one of my project on ipad 
my music file got unlinked and i was unable to relink that file to the timeline so i had to do the whole project again so file management on the vinci resolve on ipad is a no no for me if you compare it to the pc i shot a cinematic video on my iphone and edited it on the vinci resolve on my ipad the link is in the description so these were all the pros and cons of the vinci resolve on ipad and if you like the video please hit the like button and do subscribe for more awesome content on editing and gaming peace